Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. God will give you more happiness for you all. I try to my level best to give you latest update about Zimbabwe dollar, so without any further delay, let's jump right in and explore the video. Thank you again for joining me, so let's start the video. The US dollar and other currencies such as the South African Rand that have been used by Zimbabweans for a decade shall no longer be legal tender, the government said in a statement released on Monday. Instead, instead, an interim currency known as the RTGS dollar, introduced this year and which has fallen sharply since, would become legal tender and trade as the Zimbabwean dollar. Monday's move has all the hallmarks of a hastily concocted measure to stop the downward spiral of the RTGS dollar against other currencies, Veritas, a civil rights watchdog, said. It may also contain legal loopholes allowing shopkeepers for example to continue charging US dollar prices, it said. Emerson Manangaguas. Government has reintroduced the Zimbabwean dollar a decade after it was destroyed by hyperinflation. Abolishing the use of foreign currency as everyday money in an effort to fix dire shortages. The announcement shocked ordinary Zimbabweans and the country's business community even though Mr. Manangagwa had said that he was seeking a new currency this year. US dollars have, however, grown scarce in recent years as they were chased out of circulation by substitutes that were officially worth the same but had no backing. The government this year floated the substitutes as the RTGS dollar which has fallen more than 50% on the black market. According to Monday's statement, the new Zimbabwe dollar would combine the mostly electronic RTGS dollar and so-called bond notes, paper, money and coins that emerged during cash shortages as the country's sole legal tender. The fall in the RTGS dollar to 13 against the US dollar has hit salaries and driven inflation to double digits. Supermarkets have increasingly set prices in US dollars following the interim money's collapse. Botched elections and violence by security forces last year worsened Mr. Manangagwa's isolation from international financial aid that might have helped resolve the crisis. In a landmark deal with the IMF last month, the government agreed to stop borrowing money from the central bank to pay its bills, which was a root cause of the bad money. In return, the IMF is monitoring economic reforms for a year under a program that Mr. Manangagwa's government hopes will provide a seal of approval for eventual debt relief. Companies are meant to trade RTGS dollars on an official market but it has had little take up. Analysts said that Monday's change, which would spare foreign currency bank accounts, was a bid to force greater adoption of the RTGS dollar. They added that it threatens to backfire by sending use of the US dollar underground. 